Every month, we pick one lucky commenter and subscriber from all of our unboxings, and they win a £100 on Tabletop gift card. And remember to click that little bell, because that really helps us out. Hey everybody, it's Justin here on Tabletop, and joined by Jerry. Hello. What you got? I've got Norks. Norks? Do you want me to get my Norks out? Get your Norks out. I've got my yeah. Norks out. This is uh, a form of Com Commando Norks from ah. Artel. Yes, th with the lovely... Packaging. Yes. The waxy waxness. Yes. Yeah. Like Edam. Just noticed a massive gash in the back of that. I hope none of my norks are hurt in any way. Oh, come on. They're that, big boys. That would be tough. Look at that. Huh? Oh, yeah. That's that's very little nut. Some, I assume that was whoever opened this package just stabbed knife in and this happened to be on top. Quite possibly. I blame everybody else because I wasn't there. <laughs> I arrived to discover the box in pieces and all these miniatures everywhere. Yes. That's good. At which point you began to drool, like all of us. Nice. That's all right. Nice. So, the company of Gain is Artle. Hmm. All right. So, Jerry. Yes. I'll give you the, the bases. We don't need to see those. Right. Dude, though, they're huge. They're 32 mil. They're bigger than any base ne needs to be. <laughs> all right. So, I've got what I assume is a commander here. Yeah, separated. let's say yes. Yes, that's a commander. One. So I'll assume he's the biggest. Everyone is bagged individually, which nice. is nice. Although, once I've opened them up and thrown them all into a bucket of water to clean them, mm. they're all still numbered, so you can still find yeah. them. Wow. That is super, super crisp. Oh, yeah. Zero oh, more oh, he's, he's crisp like a bag of potatoes. Mm -hmm. uh, we got the legs. Nice big shin guards. I like the fact that everything's socketed on this guy. Yeah. There is no building this wrong, so I would assume this uh, pipe I've still managed to build to it wrong. Side. You're right. Yeah. Did you? No. <laughs> no, like you say, you have to yeah. work hard to build these wrong. Yeah, that's not saying that. you can't customize them. Yeah, in some respects. Big part claw. You've got an ammo bead with a glyph on. Yeah, that glyph's Massive particularly backpack. good. You'll see where that glyph goes in a second. And I, I put it to you that that glyph slash set of bullets should not be there. Okay, so you've got big slugger mm. arm. Mm. What appears to be oh, that's cute. Little face mask. Let me bring this in for you. Oh, you'll be able to see it on the built one anyway. Yeah. Little and visor. And then it is optional. And I like the fact that he's just chugging a cigar. Of course he is. He's a commando. Yeah. Like Let's that other famous commando. Outside. Arnold. <laughs> of course. Let off some steam in it. Ah, ah, ah. Is what he says. Here you go. Okay. So there's, this is the guy. There's a built one. Okay. First things first. It's just as well he reproduces via the medium of spores because yep. he's a fungus. Yeah. Because that line of bullets... That's just asking to be shot at groin height, I'm just yep. saying. Yeah, I do like the pose. It's very, very nice, but it's not over the top. No, and you can have that visor up. You can have it oh, that's over nice. his head uh, if you want to actually see the detail on his face, nice. which is there, and it's quite nice. But nice. I, I like the fact that he's just got a couple of stick bombs rammed into the top of his, uh, his carry sack there. Yeah, he's a commando. You, you can never have enough uh, hand grenades. Of course. Anytime you're tearing into somebody, let's have a look at this one. This one is number something. Probably three. Might be four. Who knows? We'll find out in a second. Depends how Jerry's feeling today. He's got a rock on him. The rock is numbered. The rock will tell you who he is. The rock is numbered five. Five? Oh, I would never have guessed five, but I know who it is now. All right, so he gets his rock to stand on. Gets a rock to stand on. Gets a nice axe. Axe. Could be bloody. Could be blood axe. Yep. We've got... Uh, Nice little shanky shank knife. Yep. We've got a main body here. Yep. Another knife. I'm guessing this guy likes to stab folks. Yep. We've got a little pistol, because you need a little pistol. You We've do. Got what appears to be some kind of tank mine. Yeah. Magnetic mines. They're yep. great. Uh, we've got his bias. Screaming. He's got a hair squig as well, so this man is a man of distinction, taste, and wealth. Because <laughs> not every orc can afford a hair squig. And his other leg. Yeah, his other leg. And so, when powers combine, right. just like Captain Planet, he becomes Rambork. Rambork. Oh, that's how I've chosen to define him, is Rambork. <laughs> I quite like that. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Very nice. It's such Super a dynamic pose. And yeah. Leaping from his rock. Yeah, you just get the image of him going, ah, there's something to fight. Let's go. Yeah. I, I really enjoy it. He's just such a cute little character. Yeah. And all of them are individual. He is the most dynamic by a country mile. Yeah. He, he is leaping, screaming like a lunatic. 
at his opponent. Uh, Even still has some teeth. <laughs> Surprises me. I imagine somebody like that would be missing a few teeth because he'd have to sell them all for repairs. <laughs> Alright, so this is number three. Number three. So he gets his rock. He does get a rock. We get his main body. Yep. Nice details. I like the ammo pouches and stuff. Mm. Like the straps. Everything's all good. He's got himself a nice little trench knife. A knife. He's got himself a little pistol. He's got a backpack. He does have a backpack. He's got his other arm that's gonna take that pistol. Yeah. And then for the face, oh he's got a little pair of flight goggles on. Yeah, cute. He is cute. I quite like the um, detail on his shoulder pad. Mm. That crossed axes and skull. Yeah. It just makes me so reminiscent of a, yeah. a simpler time, a simpler age. Uh, now, these boys look a bit more cunning than your average orc because they're carrying kit they might actually need. But yeah. So, smoke grenades, real grenades, rope, daggers. Pouches and bags with everything. I'm guessing there's probably a squig or a Gretchen sitting in here just for lunch. Well, yeah, if you can't find a human, I suppose, you can no. always backtrack and do that. But yeah, so th these are your commandery types. Mm -hmm. I'll give you one of him. One of him. One of him. I just want to see. He is number one. He, he's a green beret. No, that's not necessarily the colour of his beret. He is green. He's got a beret. It's probably like that. But he's, yeah. He's, he's a bit tasty, he's a bit nice. Yeah. He also comes with uh, optional ah. optional scenery to hide behind for uh, so big rock. bulletproof cover. If needs be. Yeah. Uh, we've got the main body. Lots of grenades strapped onto him. Got his knife. Head escaped. Another grenade. We've got the arm, which is going to take the grenade. Mm. Take and it. Pistol. And, ah, the head does indeed have a beret. It does, yeah. Perhaps could, he's a French orc. Could be a raspberry beret. <laughs> the kind you'd find in a second-hand store. Yeah. I quite like how the rock works onto the base. Yeah. It is him just up against it, just waiting for his moment. Doesn't need it. Don't have to have it there. Uh, if, yeah, yeah. if you don't want it, and I know some people don't like to have scenery following their miniatures around. I don't know. For this, I think it suits him so well that I would just have to put it on if I was building these. It reminds me of the Rattling Sniper. Mm -hmm. um, there's one of those leaning up against something, mm -hmm. and it's just very cute. Beautiful. Boot Beautiful. He's very dull. You can have a look at him. Okay, last one. No, no, there's one more after this. One more after this. One okay. more. Oh, yeah. Well, you oh, get so many. Few of them. Oh, God, yeah. All right, so we get his backpack. He's actually carrying sticks of TNT, which is nice. Yep. Uh, we have him. So he's number two. Lots of detail around the body. Mm. Really well delineated musculature. Yeah. He's got. Knife, he's got pistol, mm. and he's wearing a pair of night vision goggles. He is, he's, he's going full ghost recon, clancy, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And he's lovely. Yep. He's like, tasty. You throw a wash down on this, it's going to look great. Yeah, or you can paint it. You know, either or, whatever's right. easiest. Although, oh my God, he actually has veins bulging out of his biceps. Oh yeah. He's ripped. Look at that. He had one of those um, baths that bodybuilders have first, so all the veins pop. One of those mineral baths. Oh, uh, let's see. That's very important when you're going on any type of stealth mission, is to make sure that you are ripped, <laughs> gripped and sorted, <laughs> flexing. He's visited the House of Gains, and now he's ready to lay some pain. Okay. Last guy. So we have me and Body. This is probably my favourite of all of them. Again, super, super crisp detail. We've got yep. an arm with knuckle dusters and carrying a loop of rope. Loop of rope. We have his face wearing some form of bandit, bandit's mask. Oh, better than that. Okay, what is it? Oh, you see it on the built one. All right. Uh, we've then got his backpack. Yep. We've got his pistol. Pistol. We've got his knife. Knife. And grappling hook. Grappling, as you say, hook, discuss. And there are two reasons this is my favourite. Okay. Reason first, look at his feet. <laughs> he is wearing little ninja <laughs> flip flops. He's not just a commando, he's a ninja. <laughs> Somebody's in for a bad day. Okay, I, I dig it. Uh, and reason the second, he's wearing the traditional costume of, Na of Northern Ireland. He's got a balaclava on. So you can even see the uh, crimping at the top around the back of his neck. 
Actually, yeah. yeah, yeah. He is wearing, he's wearing full balaclava. A bally So he's some sort of Nir Nir Nort ninja. And if that isn't the best thing in the world ever, uh, I don't know what is. There's uh, also um, the grappling hook mm. has, you can twist it into different angles. So yeah. if you want to have it behind him as if there was more I, of a spit. Yeah. Winding up. Yeah. I, I chose to put it that way because I imagine he's just about to leash it forward. Like, yeah. Uh, so North Ireland Ninja Nort uh, is just, it's just amazeballs. Those are fantabulous. Yeah. I love it. Oh, they're stunning. So stunning. Absolutely love it. And you are right, the Northern Iron Ninja Nork is the best. Yeah. Yeah, you've got Rambo, you've got Green Bray, yeah. you've got, you know, standard Orc Knob. Yeah. They're all nice in their own way. Ghost Recon Clancy Nork is mm -hmm. quite but Northern Ireland Ninja Nork is just fantastic. <laughs> Why would you not have just an army of those? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Well everybody, I'll tell you what, drop your comments below. Uh, which of these Norks is the best for you? Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.